Welcome to Old Colorado City, where history comes to life. Outside of Ghost Town, which is uh, situated at one of the entrances to Old Colorado City, the this whole complex here was this was the mechanical uh, repair shop for the railroad that went to Cripple Creek and brought the gold ore down, and then over here on the other side of the parking lot is the old roundhouse, and you can see this literally round and this is uh, was the end of the line where they turned the, the trains around to go back to Cripple Creek. Uh, at, the, at the height there were six different railroads going to Cripple Creek. Uh, this particular one, if I remember correctly, uh, sent six trains a day to Cripple Creek to pick up the ore and bring it back to be refined here. Dave Harris. I'm the general manager of Ghost Town Museum in Colorado Springs on Highway 24 and 21st Street. Um, been here myself for 25 years and this attraction is now into its uh, 66th year so we're, we're working towards 70 so we've been around for quite a while. The museum concept is that, that uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're basically uh, working on the, the gold rush era from the, the 1800s. And uh, so that all these buildings that are here were, are the storefronts rep that, were, that were replaced and taken down and relocated here. Um, that, um, uh, and then were filled with artifacts of, of everyday items from that period of time. So the idea is you're, you're going to an old west town from 100 years ago and, uh, and seeing what life, life was like uh, living in that particular time during the gold rush era. The, uh, the building that we're inside of, since this entire museum is indoors, is uh, the part of the old Colorado Midland or the Midland Terminal uh, Railroad. Uh a little bit of both railroads were there. This is actually the old machine shop. Uh, this would have been, there would have been catacombs underneath where we're standing right now where workmen would have worked on the trains that come into the building doing whatever m maintenance they would have needed to do to them. And across the parking lot is the old roundhouse which at one point was Van Brigle Pottery and now is a series of retail buildings and restaurants and medical offices and that type of thing. And that was the location that the locomotives would go into at night. That building's a little bit older than our building here. This is a steel structure building and that's a, that's a timber frame building, um, but those are, those are the only two buildings remaining. I suppose that's not technically true. There's a small little building here right next door to us, which was the tin, sh tin Smith's shop, and uh, that, that place is uh, just a small little building, but th those are the last of the three of what were once probably several dozen buildings that were located in this area along Highway 24 up until the 1940s when, uh, they, cl when they closed the railroad uh, right after uh, the beginning, basically, of World War II. Old Colorado City's done a great job in the last, I'd say, 40 years of rebuilding itself sort of into a, a real a major attraction for the entire city of Colorado Springs. Uh, uh, lots of, um, of work has been done to maintain some of the buildings, original buildings that are in that area. It's a terrific retail area, a great place for people who, who like to come and, and visit Colorado Springs to tour and to, and to shop and to do that type of thing. And there's plenty of restaurants and things that are over there that are just a great, great a great fit for, for this type of, uh, of community where we, where we sort of celebrate the Old West. So in that regard, you know, Old Colorado City is just a terrific place right here just west of, of downtown Colorado Springs and along the road that leads you up Pikes Peak. Ghost Town is located at 400 South 21st Street in Colorado Springs, 80904. We're uh, located on the web at ghosttownmuseum.com and our phone number is 719-634-0696.